Welcome back, viewers. <sighs> Just got back from the store, gonna sit down and record the last little bit that I need from this game. Got some new stuff from the news, and that's all. Now we've got... Okay. Well, there it is. Apparently we do get email from, uh, from those people who we brought into the final battle with. We'll check those out at the end of the video. This is post-game material. So, we'll check these out at the end of the video along with all the other ones that you can get. As for right now, we've got a message from Roy at Bandai. Apparently, there is an infection in Delta, Hideous Someone's Giant. By the way, he also gives us a virus core T. And this is just telling us about the data flag where we can now transfer the data from this game to the next one. Let's go on and log in. Now, in terms of post game for this one, anyways, it is actually rather lacking. The only post-game stuff that you can really do is the last of the goblin tags against Martina and the hidden dungeon. Anything else? Nope? Okay. So yeah, like I said, the only real things that we can do in this game is the last of the... or the hidden dungeon and the last goblin tag. Now, before I go do the goblin tag, I want to pick up something from the scroll shop over here. First off, I gotta sell some shit, because I am running little, real low on funds. No, I don't want to sell the moon. Now, if you're wondering why my speed charms is down by one, when level grinding, I got stuck in a bit of a tight spot against two Moo Guardians with the rest of my party dead and no resurrects. That's why Moo Guardians are very annoying to deal with. By the way, I also picked up the power book from the uh, person that trades for the well waters. All right. Uh, yeah, I want to keep the spirit armor. However, the rest of this stuff I can throw away. There we go. That should be enough to get me at least some. Because I need Beast Bane. I'm going to buy up as many as I can. Because believe me. Even with having Beast Bane on you, it's not going to be guaranteed that it's going to work. Alright, so, as I was stating earlier about the post-game stuff, pretty much all that you've got left to do in this game is the hidden dungeon and the uh, goblin tag. If you really want to, and I will be going through the trouble of it, you can also go ahead and, before ending this game, max out all of the Ryu books. I've already got a couple of them maxed out just by general gameplay. Let's go on and check this out. Hey, there we go. 15 hours played. Now Ryu book one is maxed. Still need more all dungeon portals opened. Before book two is maxed, I know book three is complete. Ah! Book four is finally finished. I think book five is finished. Still need more got statues for book six. And still need monsieurs and grandpas for book seven. So. All of that stuff I will also go ahead and take on and take care of off screen. All right. Go on and make me a save. 
Shouldn't have saved over that file, but oh well. Now then, we've got two keywords to go to. This one is the message from Bandai, or from Roy at Bandai, which unlocks the hidden dungeon. And this one is for the goblin tag. Now, out of all of the goblins, Martina is certainly the most annoying to take care of. It is actually possible to kill her without... Shut up, Martina. Like I was saying, it is actually possible to kill her without doing what I'm going to do, but it's extremely hard to do so. Now, you don't want to get too far away from Martina, because, well, Martina... Martina is one of the ones that will start casting... Well, the annoying bit about Martina is the fact that she will use um, healing, regeneration on herself. So you don't want to stay too far away from her for too long. And as you can see, it is actually possible to do it this way, but... Being possible and actually taking her out like this are two totally different things. Both ways, whether you go with casting spells on her, or... Ah, shit, she's gonna break out. Like I was saying, both ways, whether you go with casting spells on her or try and chase her ass down. Where are you from? I hate the goblin tag. Like I was saying, though, both ways, whether you try and chase her ass down or try and use magic on her, both ways are going to be rather annoying to do. Unfortunately, because of the uh, equipment I have on, my magic accuracy has mm, is, has something some, something to be desired. And apparently I was thinking of the later fights against the Goblin Kings. One, I, actually, yeah, I think I was. In... All right. Sorry, viewers. All right, so, yeah. Okay. You don't want to. Oh, well. By the way, if you equip all of the Goblin Series items, something good will happen. Yes, I already know. I pointed it out when I got the last of the Goblin Armor. So we get the Imp's Pin, a key item that does fuck all. It's just... The Imp's Pin is just a key item that triggers the Goblin Tag in the next game. Alright, so we've taken out Martina. All that we've got left is now the Hidden Dungeon. And to max out the Ryu books, but... I'll take care of that much later on, because I still need to grind up some things. Alright, viewers, so I'm going to go on and take a break while I take care of getting the extra emails from each of the characters. So, we'll see y'all next time, viewers. Cheers. Thank you.